Um, so here I am getting gas in McKinney, Texas right now. Um, I am leaving here and going to Rapid City, South Dakota. Now you ask me, why are you going to Rapid City, Christoph? Why are you going there? Why are you going there? Um, I don't know. Because it's cool. Because I want to go there, right? I want to go to the Black Hills. That's what I've, I've been wanting to do. And uh, yeah, I want to discover how this country was built. The history of the Native Americans and their struggle, the, the discovering of gold in the Black Hills, the, the whole path on the way there I want to discover. I want to go to Oklahoma City, find out history of Oklahoma and its capital. Uh, Dodge City, Kansas, historic Wild West town. I want to see the towns that sprung up along the way that were part of the railroad and the making of America. All of these cool things that helped to the building of this country, the loss of land by the Native Americans, everything, everything. And I'm excited to go explore that. And then it all ends up in Rapid City where gold was found, where people thought they could make their fortunes. So let's go and let's discover that. Oklahoma City is going to be my first stop. I want to make it there by tonight. It's about three hours from where I'm at. It's nighttime. It's about 8.45. So I'm hoping I can crash somewhere outside of Oklahoma City. I got a little bed set up in the back here. Crash somewhere outside of Oklahoma City. Wake up, see the capital of Oklahoma first thing in the morning. I did not realize how bad I have to pee. I have to hustle. You know. Okay, I don't think you can see me like at all. But I'm here in my little bed. The back of my car. At the Loves. It's comfy. This is nice. It's it's comfy. Uh, I'm just gonna hang out here, I guess, until morning. It's a nice little, nice little bed. <laughs> it's time to be awake now and to go get myself a coffee and a, a pastry of some kind. <sighs> That's what's gonna happen now. That's what's gonna happen. And then I'm gonna get back on the road. So I'm here at the Oklahoma State Capitol. It's right there. Bam. I'm, uh, yeah. Oklahoma uh, City was settled in 1889, and this Capitol building was built in 1917. Absolutely beautiful building. Woo, woo. Wow. Should I try and get in? Let's see. I don't think I'm gonna be able to. Oh, this is very nice. Too early, it's six o'clock in the morning. Too early to learn about history. Oh, it opened, okay. Okay. I'm trying to be quiet, I don't wanna be super loud. I feel weird being the only person in here. Uh, oh, is this the rotunda here? Let's check this out. I think I'm gonna try and get up there though. Oh man, they got all these portraits on the wall out here. That. Oh, 
look at this elevator. Look at that with the dial. That's so cool. Do I take the stairs or do I take the elevator? Let's take, let's take the elevator. <laughs> I like this. I don't want to do exercise either. Oh man. Five. Let's go all the way up and I'll walk back down. How about that? All right, fifth floor. Beautiful. Whoa. Check that out. This like marble area here. The paintings in here are absolutely gorgeous. I like that this is open whenever you want. <laughs> Part of me wants to like lean the camera down over this, but I don't. I don't want to drop it. I don't trust myself enough to do that. Dang, this is cool, man. the best way to get a perspective of how absolutely massive this room is but it's massive it's like the, the detail in this place is absolutely amazing whoa what is this <laughs> it's kind of a, like a weird room to like George Patterson and I, I think these are the governors of Oklahoma in here. Governor of Oklahoma in 1971. Who's the first one? Let's get to the bottom of that. It'd probably be down at this end somewhere, right? I'd like to think. 1995. No, these are the recent ones, I think. Governor of Oklahoma. 19, yeah. So do you have to leave? They don't have the current one. I don't know who the current one is. 1907 to 1911, that's gonna be the first one right there. Charles Nathaniel Haskell. Dang, this is cool. What like a unique time to see this place too. Uh, I'm glad I came here really, really early in the morning. This was worth it. This was worth sleeping in my car last night. <laughs> I think this is the first floor again. One, yeah. So now I make my exit. Very cool. All right, I'm fixing to get back on the road here. Uh, just leaving the Capitol building over there. Yeah, my car. Uh, I think the next big stop is gonna be Dodge City, Kansas. It's an old Western town. Uh, yeah, so, oh, the light went out on me here. All right, Dodge City, Kansas. Okay, here I am stopped in Selling, Oklahoma. Um, here, look, I'll show you the water. I'm not getting out of the. I'm not getting out of the car right now, man. Uh, Selling, Oklahoma. There's our water tower. Um, Selling is a uh, largest town in uh, uh, Dewey County, Oklahoma. We are in Dewey County, Oklahoma, right now. It is the largest town. So I just gave this whole spiel about how. Uh, selling was in Dewey County but you can't see it but behind this uh, white Tahoe here there's a uh, Comanche County Sheriff's car 
<laughs> so, so I might actually have no fucking idea what I'm talking about. So, uh, Fort Supply, Oklahoma. Uh, it's basically just this street now, but on the outskirts of town, there's a minimum security prison. That used to be an old army fort, right? Uh, Philip Sheridan in 1868 developed the fort to fight the Plains Indians in this area. Um, Southern Plains Indians in this area. Uh, Philip Sheridan, I think, went on to become like the major general of the army or something. Um, and then the prison became a hospital, and then it became, or the fort, which supplied the area, became a hospital and then a prison which it is now. And I did not want to pull over there because there was a bunch of cops lurking over there. It said there was a historic site, but it was just a um, stop sign. So there you go. This is uh, Fort Supply. <laughs> Literally just this street. And then if you look this way, straight out of town there. So uh, let's keep going on to Dodge City. Okay. I've arrived in Dodge City, Kansas. I had to parallel park. Didn't really do such a great job, <laughs> but it's fine. Um, Dodge City is an old stop on the cattle trail um, here in Kansas. Sorry, locking my car. Old stop on the cattle trail. So, um, <sighs> big stop on the cattle trail and was known for gunfighters and saloons and just a quintessential 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 western town is the word I'm looking for. I don't know where anything is. Uh, the main drag over here is like right next to the highway. So I'm just going to look around and hopefully find something interesting. This might not be interesting at all. Who knows? All I know this street is called Gunsmoke, so that's a good start there. Nice. All right. I also have to find a bathroom, so that's important to me, too. So, yeah, let's check out Dodge City really quick. So, I just went pee in this Applebee's behind me, and uh, right across from the Applebee's is visitor information. So let's go see. All right, I'm going into the visitor information center to see what's going on. Oh. Hello, how are you? How are you? Good. Uh, I'm just, where, where should I go if I want to look at things? Um, Blue Hill Museum would be our biggest attraction. Right over there. Gotcha. And then we also have a walking tour and I can give you a map of that would be that would be phenomenal. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. It'll be on the back page. Cool. Thank you so much. It'll Have be a... like the full page. Oh, oh, like the back page, like that back page. Gotcha. Not like the back back page, but like. Okay. Cool. Thank you so much. That was helpful. <laughs> All right. Went and got my car and brought it back over here. And I noticed when I drove over here, there's a hotel, there's a museum, right? Hotel, museum, and there's an old train. So we're gonna go take a look at the old train because I wanna see the old train. And this little train stop here, which is pretty cool. They have a whole parking area here. I couldn't find parking earlier. So, can I go into the train? It looks like I can go into the train. So we're gonna go up into this train. Dude, it's so cool. The Boot Hill Special steam engine. What I like about filming this stuff is that I can just go back and read it later. Huh. All right, let's get up in this bad boy. That is a lot of stuff. Whoa! Floorboards are squeaky. 
That's crazy, dude. Look. Of course, people have like graffitied and stuff all over this. This is absolutely wild in here. I know nothing. I know nothing about trains. I'm not even going to pretend to talk about this. I like, it's way above my pay grade, dude. Out of my, out of my range. All right, we're going to go check out this, uh, this cow over here. Overlooking the street. Uh, I tried to do the walking tour, but I can't find any of the signs. Dodge City keeps burning me, man. Dodge City, full of excitement. Dodge City, station, Amtrak. There's train tracks all over there. That is telling me maybe, just maybe, it's the train station. Cool, man. Like classic train station. I feel like I have to show the Wyatt Earp statue just because he's the most famous person. This is literally this is literally Wyatt Earp Street here or something. So, Wyatt Earp, Dodge City Law, man. There you go, Wyatt. And I think, yeah, there you go, Dodge City. So, just go to the next place. <laughs> uh, I think now it's pretty, it's pretty barren going here forward. So, there you go. But the next big place we reach is, is Rapid City. And that's like nine hours from here or something. So, off we go. Okay, here I am in Oberlin, Kansas. Um, necessarily a plan stop I needed to get gas but it's interesting because this town uh, back in the 1870s or so farmers from this town were attacked by Cheyenne fleeing from their homes from the north right so it's very tied to the history of the region and if you can see all of that is plains over there and all of that is flat and all of that is flat <laughs> and literally you can just see for for miles around here it's absolutely gorgeous it makes you think about the history of this place about the history of the area about the first homesteaders that came here and about you know the natives that were here before that so it's just interesting to see like <laughs> how truly flat how truly flat this area is you don't really like think about it until you're here, you know? I can't tell, is that place called FAP? Because <laughs> that's a, that's a terrible name for a business, if that's FAP. Continue on US 83 North for four miles. It's like you go through some places, right? And you're like, there's no possible way that it could get more barren than this. Like there's no way that I could be more out in the middle of nowhere. And then you reach a new place and you like completely prove yourself wrong. <laughs> Field after field after field after field after field. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I haven't seen a gas station in so long. I have not 
not seen another car in a very long time. I don't know, like an hour or two. An hour. This is the first sign of civilization I've seen in so long, dude. I have no idea where I am. Well, I think I'm kind of coming up closer to the Nebraska National Forest. Uh, I don't know if I'll get there before the sun goes down. It's kind of low in the sky now. But uh, I'm going to attach the GoPro. <coughs> to the car window. And uh, try and get some shots of driving. Let's see. It's probably some beautiful country ahead, so I'm excited for that. I have no idea where this GPS is taking me. I'm like avoiding every major highway. If I get on a back highway, it takes me to like a another back highway. I like <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm like, you know, whatever, man. I like it. It's beautiful, but it's like I'm in the middle of in nowhere. I've been consistently in the middle of nowhere. So there you go. I enjoy it and it's gorgeous, but like no, like nowhere. I didn't tell it to do that, I just did it. Maybe it knows what I want. Maybe the GPS is reading my mind. But <laughs> to a town. I'm sick. Oh man, that was nerve-wracking. I didn't want to get stuck out there in the nighttime, dude. I know I've got a car, but I was like, uh, I mean, like, I didn't, literally, I didn't see a car out there at all. Like, I didn't want to be driving out there at night. I've hit, like, a U.S. highway now. 20. I'm seeing semi-trucks and shit again. It's a good sign. <laughs> it is a good sign. So, cool. Safe. Safe, safe, safe. I was so nervous. Woo! Cool. So I'm in South Dakota now. Um, 14 miles outside of Rapid City. And it is snowing. So I got all bundled up. I have to go take a pee and get some gas. <laughs> I just had a terrifying drive through the darkness. Um, yeah, okay, we're here. We're here. All right, I'm rolling into Rapid City now. Uh, I'm very happy to be here. This is uh, Rapid City is at the base of the Black Hills, basically, or like outside of it, you know. I'm so happy, dude, I'm so happy I made it here. I'm about to go find some food, get some drink, and just like hang out for a minute, and then go sleep in my car again. But I made it here. I made it to Rapid City. I have no idea what it looks like in the daytime yet, but I'm excited to wake up and check it out. I'm so, ha I'm so happy to be here. Oh my God, I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> I've been driving all day so I made it I made it yeah <laughs> 